I'm DigiKey and Adafruit present. Hi, on NPR. This week's INMPI is from our friends of Particle. That's right. Our BFFs Particle. Yeah. Um, we've known them for a very long time. We were there when they were first kicked it off. Uh, they used to be called Spark and then the Spark Core and then the Particle Photon. Uh, and this is a new pod for them. And this is really cool because they're like really good at making an excellent user experience. Um, so this week's INMPI is the Particle Tracker 1. And this is um, kind of a combination, culmination of all the stuff that they've been working on for quite a while. This is an all-in-one cellular Bluetooth Wi-Fi GPS tracker that uses, um, you know, the particle code and uh, system, you know, the deployment system they have for code and logging data. Um, so, you know, what what is an asset tracker used for? Well, it's often, you know, used for um, you have a thing. You want to know where that thing is and how it's doing. So it could be as simple as I want to know where a truck or a train or a bus or a car is. That's pretty common, right? You know, you have uh, GPSs in cars and maybe you want to know uh, if you're um, a delivery company where that truck is and, you know, is it is it on the way or if it's lost. Um, you can also, you know, of course, attach an asset tracker to assets. Like if you have a very expensive thing that you're moving around and you want to uh, track it, make, make, you know, make sure that it's, uh, not been damaged um, but it's uh, you know asset trackers are used for other stuff as well for example you know a common usage for um, you know cellular asset trackers is say uh, you have a, a coke machine like there's you know down by the river there's the all those uh, coke ma- soda machines right that are outside um, you don't want to have somebody have to go by there all the time and check are we out of Sprite or Dr. Pepper instead the asset tracker can say hey the cook machine at this latitude and longitude uh, has plenty of Dr. Pepper, but we're running dangerously low on Diet Coke. So come on by and, um, you know, replace just that soda. So, you know, that plus um, humidity and temperature sensing, or maybe you want to know when uh, your compressor has run for too many hours and, and sending a note to let somebody know. All sorts of like data analysis that, you know, you can't rely on Wi-Fi. You want cellular data because cellular works anywhere in the country and in some cases, you know, in, in large parts of the world. Okay, so uh, the Particle Tracker 1 is this kind of durable, weatherproof, waterproof case. It's got an IP rating, which, of course, I don't have in front of me, but it's probably IP67, I think, something good like that. And inside is um, this uh, system module from Particle that contains... A Nordic NRF 52840, that's their main processor chip, and it's a low power chip, it's a Cortex M4, and it has a Bluetooth Low Energy Native. They add to that a Quectel um, cellular module, an LTE module that can do uh, CAT M1 as well. It can also do 3G and 2G fallback if it needs to, but LTE is kind of like the, the best thing because it's got a very wide range of uh, deployment. And then 3G and 2G, you know, basically you've covered, you know, pretty much anywhere that has cellular signal. Um, it also has Wi-Fi uh, with an onboard ESP32 S2, so you can use like SSID scanning um, techniques to do detection of location. And of course, a GPS model uh, module from Ublox in the M8U. So what I really like about this is Particle actually took the like they call it like best of breed. They took like the best Wi-Fi module, the best Bluetooth chip, the best cellular modem, the best um, GPS module, and they stuck them all together, and um, you know they glued it together with Particle's software. So here's all the pieces inside. So you've got you know all this hardware. You've got some uh, you know you've got the, the USB connectivity, and you got debug ports and buttons if you need it. Um, If you want to get external hardware, you see over there on the bottom left, there's the expansion port um, where you can get, uh, you can power it so you can, you know, recharge the internal battery. It's got CAN support. Um, It's got uh, two digital pins that can also do UART, and it's also got a GPIO uh, and analog pin. And I think, you know, probably uh, you can also do, it's it's an NR52840, which means you can also do I2C on these pins. There's no... um, hardware specific specificity about those uh three gpio pins d8 d9 D- and a3 so you know you can do i squared c you can do you are you can do digital analog you can also do canvas so it's a it's an easy way for you to um add 
additional sensors uh, to this device if you want to track that along with location, which is what it's really good for. Um, I will note that the NFC antenna, I don't think it's for reading NFC, it's for NFC pairing. Uh, that's part of uh, the Nordic capability. All right, um, this is the connector. So there's like this IP67 connector. Um, again, you can get a cable from them for a couple bucks and then attach external accessories. A lot of people are gonna be like, I wanna add a humidity sensor. This is how you do it. You connect it through the power and IO connector, the M8. Um, this is, uh, the, the, the tracker one is actually, you know, it's a product, but it's also a um, demonstration board. It's, it's a reference design that you can use and then adapt as necessary. And it's open source because our friends at Particle, they're really into open source. So check out Particle IoT on GitHub and they have Eagle files um, that you can use and re-spin. It's, I think, a four-layer board. You can re-spin this board to adapt it however you want. You can use the same enclosure, customized enclosure, but this way you know that you're going to have uh, the pinouts and power supply and everything all good to go. So, um, you know, grab it. I downloaded the EagleCAD files. I verified it. You can see the, the blue dots um, going down the, the back, the, blue, the, the back spot. That's the uh, system on board module. That's the module that they have um, that you solder onto a board. I'll show a picture of it uh, shortly. And that's what contains the um, main core processor and the cellular module. And the SIM, the SIM card is, is on board as well. Um, so I got one of these. It was really easy. I just logged in. Um, I told it, hey, you know, I've got the tracker one. I clicked on that. Um, it said, what's your serial number? I typed the serial number and then it was like, okay, I know who you are. I know what it is. Um, you know, you do have to pay for uh, SIM service. That's normal. It's a cellular device. Like any cellular device, you have to, um, you know, uh, register onto a cellular network and you have to pay a monthly fee. The monthly fee is seven bucks a month, which is a really good deal. And you get 25, uh, do, uh, 25 megabytes per month, which is plenty for location tracking. Like you're not downloading a movie here. You're just sending like strings that are, you know, 40, 50 bytes along with your latitude and longitude and maybe the temperature and humidity. Um, you then have your SIM card and you can like track your SIM card and, and, you know, check the location of this device. And, um, so, you know, as is, it works as like a basic tracker. Like you can just, you don't have to do anything. It'll just tell you where it is. It'll, it'll get the GPS data and send it over uh, cellular. So, you know, where your device is. However, the thing that's really powerful about it is the particle IDE. And this is something that they've been working on for 10 years. Like I've, I've used this for so long. It even had an example code from like seven years ago. Um, still on it from my account. But what, what you can do is you can write code and then deploy it over cellular um, to your device and update its capabilities and do so in a secure and trustworthy manner. And this is the really hard part. How do you upload code without worrying about br breaking it, without worrying about what if you upload the wrong code and, and something goes amiss? They have like you know, real-time operating system that manages it. If something goes wrong, it'll it'll go back into, you know, over the air mode. You can um, re-upload your code. It's like very smart, the particle system. And they've been doing it for so long with Wi-Fi that they've really like nailed the details because it's the details of doing over the air that's like really challenging. You know, what if the cellular connection goes out in the middle of an update? You know, you have to partition your flash and verify it and use CRCs and, and, and on and on and on. And this is stuff that I don't want to do, but they want to do it. They're good at it. So you can just write code and um, through their IDE and deploy it directly to your device, which is pretty nifty. And that's how you would access those external digital pins or the canvas or, or analog um, inputs or PWM outputs. So um, the deal is that this is actually really cheap. So, you know, if you were trying to build one of these, um, you wouldn't be able to do it for the same price because you gain the Wi-Fi and cellular and Bluetooth and battery and enclosure, you know, and antennas and all that stuff together. I actually, even though this is like a reference design, if you are going to make something that has this kind of capability, I would recommend just getting one of these and you just use that cable and plug it into whatever it is that you want to cellularize. And like, this is done, right? It's got all of the systems in place. It's got like all of the, the security management, the cellular system, the eSIM, um, everything's already done for you. So you don't have to worry about that really, really hard part because you can get a low cost cellular tracker, but they're not very reliable. It's that, that reliability and consistency is what you're going to find becomes quickly a problem. 
um, especially that code deployment. It's extremely hard to do well. So, um, you know, any kind of asset tracking, really, just like grab one of these and just use it and then work on the other part of your hardware and design that you need to do. Don't, don't like spend your time dealing with cellular modules. It's like, believe me, it's not fun. Like you want somebody to just give you something that just sends data to their service and the data is there. It's not, it's not cool to be digging through, you know, pages of AT commands to figure out, you know, how to set up your SSL connection. Boo to that. Yay to the tracker one. So um, there's two versions. There's the um, uh, American one, there's AT&T, and then there's the Vodafone, which is Europe, Middle East, and Asia. So you'd have to watch out for that for the LTE connectivity. There, it's not 2G, um, I think it will work worldwide, but like 2G doesn't really work in the US. So pick the one where your device will be the most likely to be. Um, it'll still work in Europe if your SIM card is global, um, but you're not going to get LTE connectivity. You'll, you'll, you'll end up going down to 2G connectivity for that, which is, which is not as good. And then once you finish your design, um, let's see, you can go to, uh, sure the image is, oh, go here. Once you finish your design, you can pick up the tracker SOM eval kit. Like, let's say you are bonkers and you're like, no, 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 I really need to make my own tracking cellular system. Um, you can then pick up the SOM eval kit, which has a lot more pins broken out and it's like more for developers. And then you can develop with that little module in the center and then you can buy that in bulk. Um, you know, this is the same thing that's basically used in, you know, like every um, e-scooter, you know, to keep track of where it is over the cellular network. Um, so that, you know, it's designed for mass deployment fleets of products. So for that, you'd want to get the little system on a module board. But if you're just making like, a hundred or less, just get the tracker. Really, it's a it's a better deal. You're not going to be able to make it any cheaper. And available on DigiKey. That's part of what this is. Ion MPI. All the new products that you want are most likely on DigiKey. And we have uh, this device right here. I do. I have, and I just thought I'd show it off. So this is what it looks like. I I, I removed the the waterproofing, the weatherproofing. Um, so this is the board, and it has um, status, of course, right now. It's like, hi, I'm indoors. I can't see GPS, and I can't see the cloud. Um, so that's normal. It's it's not very happy with me. And when you open it up, you can see um, there's a, a two amp hour battery. Uh, it's a 3.7 uh, volt battery. You can of course replace this with a bigger battery if you'd like. It's got a nice big GPS antenna and look at the detail they put the weatherproofing, the like epoxy around it. I think this is the Wi-Fi module. And then behind it, I, I couldn't remove it because it's actually like epoxied in. Um, but behind this, or maybe I could remove it, I didn't. But behind this is the system um, on a module um, with the Wi-Fi, with the cellular and Bluetooth. So um, you can see here, this is really nicely weatherproofed. So you're using this connector here, which looks like that. Um, it plugs right into the board and you can you know, charge the battery um, through it and connect to it. And then um, there's also a reset and uh, bootload mode buttons. So if you are debugging um, your setup, there's a, a JTAG connector as well as a eSIM, you know, contacts. This is, you know, you, it's not too hard to open. I opened it like, you know, just using a couple of screws. Um, and so, uh, yeah, this tracker. So I think this will be handy. You know, Phil, I will probably use this for something. Yeah, we'll use it. You know, you just turn on, it connects the cellular network. Of course, you can pause it when you're not using it uh, and then turn it into an instant tracker. And it's like super durable. Like this can... You can, I can throw this, it'll be fine. Drop yeah. it, dunk it in water. We have a one minute long video. And uh, of course, don't forget, you can get on DigiKey, part number's there, and then the short URL is there. Here's a video. <laughs>